I shared with this with Sister Timmy. Look at uh, 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 President, our President Biden. I had he was he was seated for president for two three years, right? But look how old he is that he now a president. This spirit of delay, he will hold you blessing, he will hold you from a, a, from becoming what you're supposed to become, from receiving what you're supposed to receive. And then when you are old, you cannot even enjoy enjoy it. This man cannot enjoy his presidency. He cannot. He is limited because of his age. There are certain things he can do. There are certain things he cannot do. Praise the Lord. So I want you to pray. What is it? What is delaying in your life? What is the powers of darkness delaying is holding in your life? You want to pray that whatever is holding my destiny, my miracle, my answered prayer, my deliverance, my healing, my blessing, let the fire of God consume it in, in the name hand. of Jesus. Any what is it that the kingdom of darkness is holding? Any hand. 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 Any marriage Want you know what you want in your life. Praise the Lord. 
Let the fire of God come down and consume it in the name of Jesus. Pray against the spirit of limitation. I don't know what the devil is limiting to. I don't know what level the devil has put to have to be in this category. He puts you in certain category. There is a certain category you cannot go to. There is someone you cannot go to. In my father's house, you are the only one who is better than everyone else. Limiting Amen. Again, the spirit of dealing, the spirit of delay, limitation, they go together with the spirit of stagnancy. Amen. You're stagnant in ev everything you do. You cannot, you, you are just, you know, like water. When you, we pour water, let's say like in a, a, a plate, a round plate, it will always be there. It cannot move. Or when you say there is like a lake or like a swimming pool, this enclosed, you cannot go any, water cannot flow, water cannot go anywhere. So this is a spirit of stagnancy. It makes you, it makes you remain in one position. Sure. Praise the Lord. You cannot get promotions from job to job. You cannot get, uh, if, if and it is even in, in academically, you remain in the same position. Financial, you remain in the same position. In your family, you look at you look at yourself like you are the one, you are better than everyone else. And there is nothing to you yourself, you're like, what is wrong with me? Pray against the spirit of stagnancy. We have to move from place to place. We have to move from level to level. From an empty to an Even the ministry of all must move in the name of Jesus. We cannot remain in the same place, in the same position, in the same level, with the same anointing, without anything that this fruit that does not want us to go to my father to go to another level. Father, consume me of my father, you will find. In the name of Jesus, you will go my father, you will find. In the name of Jesus, you will go to my father, you will find. In the name of Jesus, you will go to my father, you will find. In the name of Jesus, you will go to my father, you will find. In the name of Jesus, you will go to my father, you will find. In the name of Jesus, you will go to my father, you will find. In the name of Jesus, you will go to my father, you will find. In the name of Jesus, you will go to my father, you will find. In the name of Jesus, you will go to my father, you will find. In the name of Jesus, you will go to my father, you will find. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Again, this spirit hinders also in, in ministry. You see ministries, they are in the same level all the time. They can same member, you know, brethren, same, like it is everything is the same. Nothing is moving, nothing is moving. You're trying to serve God, you're doing all you can, but you see like nothing is moving. And you're like, people are hating me, people hate me. No, people don't, need, there's something chasing you, there's something behind. Because in your father's house, in my father's house, nobody served the living God. They served the bow. They served the idols. Praise the Lord. So these spirits, they say, no, you can, yes, you can serve God. You can go and become born again, but you will not reach this level. Praise the Lord. When the children of Israel were coming out of Egypt, you know what Pharaoh told them? You can go, but don't go too far. Don't go far. So they put a limit. Pharaoh put a limit on the children of Israel. 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So as, as long as you know you are a Christian, you know there is a spirit, there is powers behind you. We all came from somewhere. Our families were not born again. Our parents were not born again. They have other gods they serve. So those gods, they say, us and our children, we will serve you. But today we say, us and our family and our children, we shall serve the living God. The living God. God. And reject it's any covenant that, that, that was made by our fathers by I mistake. Reject. And today we say we choose God. We're going to tell those powers from our background, family background, that today we choose to serve God. We're not going to serve them. We're going to serve the Lord. Praise the Lord. The spirit of stagnancy in the ministry. We refuse every spirit of stagnancy. We refuse in the name of Jesus and we reject we cancel those covenants that were made by our parents in the, by mistake in the name of Jesus. I want to serve the Lord, but for us we can serve the Lord. We choose to go high. We choose to serve the living God. 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 We choose to serve the God, my Almighty, I I break the family in the name of the I the partaker of the above. I ask the my name of Jesus. I am a child of God. I am a servant of the living God. I live for Jesus. I reject the idols of my father. I reject the idols of my mother. I live the living God. I am a child of God. I no longer slave to the God of my father. I am no longer slave to the God of my father. I am no longer slave to the God of my mother, sir. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. I disagree with all the agreements of my father, sir. We take it, 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 we you know, wherever you go, they connect. They're like, they like they connect, you know, like social media, WhatsApp, where Facebook. So they connect, they know where you are, they know where you have gone, they know where you live, so they target you. Praise the Lord. You know, you can be from Africa, but this spirit will come with you. When you pay for the ticket, for them, they don't pay the ticket. Amen. But the Lord said, I'll bless you wherever you are. Mm -hmm. In the town, you'll be a blessing. In the village, you'll be a blessing. In America, you'll be a blessing. In Africa, you'll be a blessing. But if you are cast, if you have a cast on your life, in the town you go, you are cast. In the city, you are cast. In the village, you are cast. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So they go with it together with the prosperities. Every place you live, there is a power. There is a prosperity living in that place, controlling that place. Praise the Lord. So we're going to pray. Any prosperity holding my destiny, release it by fire in the name of Jesus. Let your voice and pray. Any prosperity holding my destiny, holding my power, arranging my money, arranging my destiny, arranging my fire in the mighty name of Jesus. I release the fire of God. Worship every person's prosperity in the heavenless, in this world. Every power controlling me, in this place, controlling my destiny, in the name of Jesus. I worship by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Holding my destiny. Thank you. 
together with the Queen of God, the Queen of the Angels, the Prince of Persia, against them in the name of Jesus. They are holding a blessing. We are in the city of Messiah. Lord, I said, whatever you say, put your power on it. Lord, I will take it. I will give it to you. We are living in the blessings in the blessings where we are. Because there is a prosperity. The powers of heaven are destroyed. In the name of Jesus, we are getting what is the power of God. Amen. Again. We're going to pray about the spirit of uniformity. Amen. Look mm -hmm. at yourself. Look at the people. I know most of us are in, uh, in uh, uh, you know, more, more, more the modernized countries, developed countries. But look at yourself. Look at the people at home. Look at the dreams you have. When you're dreaming, when you are, you are in America, you are in Asia, you are in uh, um, Italy, Sister Esther. But look at the dreams. Are you still dreaming when you are your, with your people at home in the village, sitting, eating food with them? Amen. Sister Chimi, you are in America. Are you still dreaming? Do you see yourself in the dream in the village in, uh, in Nigeria? Eating food together with them. Amen. My sister Jovita, are you still dreaming? You are with your sister, your family. You are sitting together in the village, in that house where you, or you grew up from. The spirit of uniformity. He wants, he's still, still telling you that I have an account, you have an account, I have an account on you. Amen. Controlling you with the remote, they have a remote control. They're controlling us on their remote. They know where we've gone because of the bloodline. Amen. They know, they say, you still belong to us. I shared this with my sister, Shimi Wanya. Recently, I was praying and you know, the spirit of God, I think, revealed this to me that I was, as I was praying, you know, the spirits, the family spirits, they know the language, they know that language. They, they, some of them, they never go to school, they don't understand English. So when you pray in English, they will not understand. But say those words, that fire prayer in the language they understand, in your lack or your mother language, you're going to see, try it out. I was praying in my mother language. Casting out the demons. But this is what I saw. My, 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 father's, my, my mother's father, I never saw him. I didn't know anything about him. But when I started praying in that local language, this is what happened. I got a dream in my house. He came to my house. He said, Isume, you're casting me out. You're chasing me away. You look, but I've been praying. So when you pray, at times you need to pray in your mother language, in that love, in the language you understand, so that you hurt them. When you say fire in your language, they, it means fire. Amen. When you say in your language, you say omoro, omoro, fire. It means fire. They would, they would, fire will consume them wherever they are. Whenever they are, I send the fire, whatever you're gathering, you demons, the family demons, I reject you. I don't belong to you. I'm not your daughter. 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 Be the same. 
in jesus name we pray let me tell you when you're in this battle those demons don't bargain with them don't show them mercy you have you have what you still have what, what dreams you're dreaming, you're sleeping with a man, a known man. This man comes in the form of your husband. He's not your husband. He's a spirit. They don't have sex in the dream. Sex is in the reality, not in the dream. Release the fire of God to consume this evil, this evil spirit that is pretending to be your husband, pretending to be your wife. I in the dream, they don't have dream. They don't have sex. Sex is in reality, not in the dream. It is the power, the spirit of uniformity. Praise the Lord. The controlling demon, the controlling spirit, because our fathers went to the shrine. They went and told these people, evil, evil spirits, that we shall give you all our, our, our offsprings. Amen. Today we reject any marriage, any spiritual marriage in the name of Jesus. We reject it for the Lord our God is our husband in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of we reject those covenants that were made under the tree, those covenants that were made under the water, under the stick, in the mighty name of Jesus. But the covenants they made, the covenants they made, we reject them in the name of Jesus. We overcome them by the power of the blood of Jesus. We are here to the Amen. So you see people suffering, you see marriage is breaking down. You see people miserable in marriage. There is something behind because these powers of darkness, these demons, they don't want you to enjoy your marriage. They don't want you to enjoy your, 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 your spouse. They cause frustration. Praise the Lord. And then you don't, you don't, you start hating it. You don't, you don't know, no reason. 
praise the Lord. You don't enjoy each other. They create situations that, that can make you busy so you don't have time for each other. Praise the Lord. I was sharing with my sister. I told her, we work every day. You know, you work every day. You're so busy. They create situations over time. This, this. You come home, you're tired. You don't have time for each other. You just want to take a shower and go to bed, go to sleep. Praise the Lord. They cause even promotions so that they can set you apart from your spouse. Fire in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every spirit of separation. Every spirit that is causing separation in my marriage. Every spirit of the name of Jesus. I reject every spirit of the name of Jesus. I reject every spirit of Ah, bless you, fire be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every wicked spirit to bring busy, to bring busy, to bring tiredness, I come against you in the name of Jesus. Every spirit that does not want to work together, I destroy you in the name of Jesus. I cast you out of my home in the name of Jesus. I reject you, I reject your work. Your enchantments I have no effect in my life, in my marriage in the name of Jesus. I destroy you by Fire. Be destroyed by fire. Flee from me in the name of Jesus. You flee from me. You wicked spirit, you wicked spirit, anti marriage spirit, home wreckers. I deny the name of Jesus. I destroy you by fire. Home destroyer. Home destroyer. Agent of separation. I come against you in the name of Jesus Christ. No weaken in the name of Jesus. I weaken you by fire. I weaken you by fire. In the name of Jesus. I barricade my home with the blood of Jesus Christ. I barricade my home with the blood of Jesus. I cover my marriage with the blood of Jesus. Father, may we go stronger and stronger. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let me read. Let's read Ezekiel 18 to 4. Ezekiel. Our fathers did things in ignorance without knowing because they did not know the truth. And they died without confessing those things they did. But today we are eating the sour grapes on behalf of them. We are paying the price. Amen. Ezekiel 18. Ezekiel 18 verse 2. What do you mean when you see, when you use this proverb, Concerning the land of Israel, say, saying, the fathers have eaten sour grapes and the children's teeth are set on edge. Our fathers ate sour grapes. Our fathers did something. They sacrificed on the altars of Baal. Amen. They made covenants with the evil powers of darkness. Some of them, they wanted money. Some of them, they wanted to be rich. Some of them, they wanted healing by ignorance. But now the children still are set on age. As I live, says the Lord God, you shall no longer use this proverb in Israel. Behold, all souls are mine. The soul of the father as well as the soul of the son is mine. The soul who sin shall die. So I'm going to say, Lord, Whatever our fathers did in their ignorance, God. Father, every if there is anything following me because of that, Father, I reject it in the name of Jesus. We have to reject this because we they did not do it, they did it, but now we are paying the price. Lift your voice and pray. Um, my order. Any price we are paying, we are paying the price for our parents. Father, whatever price I am paying, Lord, I reject those covenants they made. We deny them, we cancel them in the name of Jesus. We break that covenant. I break it, my parents. In our ancestors, in the Bible says in the lamentation, I say that our fathers have sinned, but they are not, and we are paying, we are having that iniquity. 
reject the name of the Lord. Whatever I am going through, Lord, as a result of the sins of my parents, my forefathers, I reject it, Lord. I reject it, Father. In the name of Jesus, I reject them by the power of the Lord. Reject it. Reject the covenant, the family of covenant, the name of Jesus. I reject it. I reject I reject it my life. I reject it my life. I In the name of Jesus, we pray. I reject you by the power of Holy Ghost. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. We're going to pray against the, the powers of witchcraft. You know, so many people are suffering. They're struggling in life because they don't know there is witchcraft behind every situation. Like where we come from. Hallelujah. You don't know what, you don't know someone did something. You may not know. Praise the Lord. They can even send it, whatever you are. They have no mercy. They don't do something because you've done something, but just jealousy. Just because they look at you and they're like, ah, this one is good to be bewitched. Hallelujah. You go somewhere, they, they get your, the sun from your, under your feet. They take a small thing from your from your clothes and you'd not know. But when you start praying, God starts to reveal to you a lot of things. Recently, I saw a lady telling me, oh, did you get your underwear that I took? Can you imagine? But you don't know people. People are evil. The devil is evil. Satan is evil. He uses people to do evil things. Praise the Lord. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter 44, verse 25, who frustrates the sign of the babblers and, dry, and derives diviners mad? Who turns the wise men backward and makes their knowledge foolishness? Praise the Lord. So we're going to pray. There's every evil wisdom from evil people, any wisdom from evil people, let the Lord turn it into foolishness. Because when God turns it into foolishness, they start doing things that they did not know. Praise the Lord. They even start talking about what they are doing. The spirit of law of God will, will divert them from what they are doing. Pray again the spirit of witchcraft. If there is any witchcraft in my life that is causing me to, to live or to delay in this situation, let the fire of God consume it in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, any power that is against any power of the Lord. Any in the name of Jesus. Making a contention like this. Ah, I command you, expose yourself. There is any witchcraft in my life. Now, all the power of God in the name of Jesus. Let the power of God come out. 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 They see your marriage, they, they don't want you to be happy in your marriage. They see you in that country where you are, they don't want you. They want you to be like them. Put them down. 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 Start working against me this day. Expose your doings. Expose your doings in the name of Jesus Christ. We will grant power working wicked and the powers and the powers of witchcraft. Expose your purpose in the name of Jesus. Expose your dealings in the name of Jesus. Let them be exposed. Let the spirit of God expose them. And destroy their power. And their wickedness. 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 And to expose yourself. Expose your evil thoughts. Expose your evil declaration. Let the evil declaration be in the name of Jesus. I cancel every evil enchantment, demonic enchantment, satanic enchantment, witchcraft enchantment against my marriage, against my life, against my home. I destroy. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. The word of God says in the book of Job, Job chapter 5, verse 12, he frustrates the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot carry out their plans. You see, he frustrates the devices of the crafty, so that their hands cannot carry out what they are planning, so that the Lord, we pray that the Lord will destroy what they have started, that their plans will not be successful. 
their evil words, they will not be successful. The evil plans, the evil agendas, they will not be successful in the name of Jesus. And there are some people who have been who have been uh, uh, blessed by Satan to curse, like Baram. Someone who just says something can be your relative because they don't know what the words matter matter a lot. Someone can say something to you and it can be as they have said, like Baram. There are some people who use their tongue as witchcraft. They use their tongue to curse people, to make people's lives miserable. Praise the Lord. So we're going to pray. Any tongue that is against me, praise the Lord. Let the, Lord, let the, let the, let the, the, the power of God destroy it in the name of Jesus. Any evil tongue, any evil tongue, any evil tongue in the name of Jesus. Every tongue, every tongue making a condition against me. In the name of Jesus. Be destroyed by fire. Every tongue making declaration against you. May your evil declaration be broken. Let the tongue be destroyed by fire. Let there be tongue Jesus, I Christ. because of time I'll, I'll try to you know to finish anyway so i will gonna pray about the spirit of spiritual prison you see people walking but they're in prison somewhere amen there is somewhere you are in prison you dream in the house you are in a certain house some people are guarding you you see like guards are guarding you you're in a prison your life is in prison cannot move from place to place because someone who is in prison you can never enjoy life someone who is in prison your life is always all, is in sorrow like there is no joy in your life because there is a certain spiritual world you are somewhere you're being controlled by some powers you are in prison <laughs> praise the lord some people are in prison, but they can they not know. There's a time, one time when I had a dream, I was in a prison. I was in a house. The house was enclosed. 
Amen. It was enclosed. There's nothing, the ceiling, there's no window, there is no door, there's nothing. I was inside in that house. So many people are in the same category, but you see your life, your spiritual life, today you're on, tomorrow that is, tomorrow you're not, you're off. Things are not going right in your life. You are in prison, you're being monitored until when I prayed and I asked the Lord to send his angels to rescue me from that prison. Because when we see the word of God, the, the Bible says that Paul and Silas, they were in prison and the Lord sent his angel, amen, to release them from the prison. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You are in prison. I pray and I pray and I saw in the dream when I dream, when I was released from that prison. And in the dream, I saw, you know, drones, like airplanes, like drones. The drones were flying over me on top of me. And I don't know how they came into that house. How I don't know where they came. I don't know. The next thing I saw, the power that from the drone, I just felt like it pulled me out of that house where I was, where that prison I was. I was imprisoned. I came out and they took me, they put me in a city. It was a big city. That's when I started to see, I started to look, oh, this is very nice. This is, you are in a prison, my sister, my brother, you are in a prison. Pray that the Lord will send his angels as he sent the angels to Paul and Silas when they're in a prison and the angels open the doors of the prison so that when you're out of the prison, you start enjoying life. Hmm. Praise the Lord. Any power that is holding me in captivity, in satanic prison, release me by fire in the name in the of name Jesus. Name of Jesus. Pray, pray, any pray. Power. Any power. satanic power. power. Holding me in the satanic Any prison. power holding me in the satanic in the name prison. Of Jesus. In this captivity. Of people for me in the name of Jesus. Every power holding me captivity. Every power, holding Every power, me power that have kept in the name of prison holds. I command to release me by fire in the name of Jesus. Fire by fire. I call out fire. I call out fire. I call out fire. I call out fire. In the name of Jesus. Pray in the name of Jesus. Power. Be broken, let the house be broken. Let it be broken in the name of Jesus. Let the bars be broken. Let the walls be destroyed in the name of Jesus. The foundation of that prison be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Let the prison be broken. Let the bars, let the doors open in the name of Jesus. By the authority in the name of Jesus. Let the angels of God arrest those guards, the security guards that are holding you, that are guarding 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 you, the work of God is against you. Therefore, I command you to receive you as they receive your power over my life in the name of Jesus. And Peter, your power over my life in the name of Jesus. Any foundation of the prison that is being broken down in the name of Jesus. Come out from the prison of the wicked one. I pull my soul out from the prison of the wicked one. I pull my soul out from the cage of the wicked one. I pull myself out from the cage of the wicked one. I pull myself out from the grave they have dug for me. I come out by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. I call fire. Fire, 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 fire. Father, send the name of Jesus. Father, pull me out. Amen. Amen. Sometimes you see like your dream, like you're you in, you in chains. Some people dream they're in chains. Satan have put chains on you. Amen. When you are in chains, you cannot get anywhere. You cannot do anything. Your life will be like that all the time. Praise the Lord. But we see when you pray, the Lord releases power, his spirit. And the spirit of God breaks those chains from your hands, from your legs, and you're free, you're set free. So we're going to pray. Every power, every satanic chain holding me in captivity, let it be destroyed by the power of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Pray, lift your voice and pray. Pray against the spirit of change. You're in change. Any sort of change in your life in the name of Jesus. Release your soul. When you pray against the spirit of change, you release your soul. You release your soul. You release your soul. Any chain breaks every chain. By the power of the blood of Jesus, breaks every chain. Breaks every chain. I break every chain on my hand. I break every satanic chain on my leg. I break every chain in the name of Jesus that is holding my life in captivity, holding me in one place. 
I set myself free from the bondage of the wicked one. In the mighty name, name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Brethren, there is hope. Amen. I had, I still had more prayer points, but now so here because of time. There is still hope. Job 14, 7. Job 14, 7. After prayer, you believe God, there is hope. For there is hope for a tree if it is cut down, that it will sprout again. And that it is tender shoots will, will not cease. Though its roots may grow old in the earth, and its stem may die in the ground, yet at the scent of water it will bud and bring forth branches like a plant. Hallelujah. There is still hope when the tree, a tree is cut down. Hallelujah. Then when rain, when it rains, or is there is enough water, this tree starts to bud again. It puts on another stem, another another branches, then it gets more fr another fruits. Praise the Lord. So believe in God as we started with faith, that there is hope. After prayer, there is hope. Let your hope be in the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Zechariah 9, 11, 12. Zechariah 9, 11, verse 12. Zechariah chapter 9, verse 11. As for you also, because of the blood of your covenant, I will set you prisoners free from the water, waterless pit. It doesn't matter where your soul is, but the word of God says, I will set you prisoners free from the waterless pit. That you know that deep ocean in the ocean. Some people are in the ocean, their souls are in the ocean, their souls are in the sea, their souls are in the ground, their souls are in the in the in the in the, uh, in the graveyards, the people, people. Satan used people to bury people in the grave. And you see yourself, you're dreaming this person, your dead relative all the time, all the time you pray, you pray, but the dead relative is coming to you every night, every night, every night, because they connected your soul with these dead, dead people. But the word of God said, I will set you prisoners free from the waterless pit, from the graveyard, from the ocean. Return to the stronghold, you prisoners of hope. Even today, I declare that I will restore double to you. Hallelujah. There is hope, hope in the Lord that whatever you have asked for, whatever you're believing God for, God is going to restore. It doesn't matter how many years you have lost. Hallelujah. But the Lord said there is hope. So put your hope in the Lord Jesus. Believe in the Lord. I pray all the time for the Lord to increase your faith. In the name of Jesus, praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. And God bless you so much. Amen. Let's begin to thank the Lord. Father, we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Bless you, Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the adoration. We magnify your name. We bless your holy name. Thank you, Father, Baba, ah, for everything that you have done. Oh, God, my Father, in our lives. So oh, God, my Father, tonight. Thank you, Father, Baba. Thank you for your servant that you have used. So oh, God, my Father, Baba, to bless us. So oh, God, my Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for revealing all the secrets. Oh, God, my Father, into our lives. So oh, God, my Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, my Father. We give you all the praise. We give you all the we magnify your name, we bless your holy name, oh God. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we we'll pray. Amen. Bible says, without faith, we cannot please God. With faith, we can move mountain. Faith is having unshakable confidence in God. We are going to pray and ask the Lord, Father, increase our faith tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, increase our faith, Lord. Lord Jesus. Father, increase our faith, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, help us, Lord. Help us, Lord, to have faith in you, Lord. Increase our faith, Lord Jesus. Father, help us, Lord. May you empower us, Lord. May you strengthen us, Lord. Father, we pray, oh Lord, that you increase our faith, Lord Jesus. 
But I pray unto you. I increase my faith in you. I have me to trust in you. I have no other God but you. I have no other God but you. Amen. Hebrews 11 verse 1 says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen, even when we have not seen it, we still believe that it will happen. The Bible said that it will, although it may tarry, but believe that it shall surely come to pass. We are going to pray for CHMI. We are going to ask the Lord for that, that which you have said concerning CHMI, Lord Jehovah God. By faith, we prophesy it tonight, Lord Jehovah God. Let it begin to manifest in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, my Father, we pray for your church, Lord Jehovah God. Father, that which you have said concerning your church, Lord Jesus. Father, let it begin to manifest in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, King of glory, Lord, every good prophecy, oh, Lord Jehovah God. my God, we pray for you. Let it come to pass, Lord, upon your church, Lord. Let it begin to I believe in your word. I believe your servant. I believe your prophet. I believe your word. I believe my hope is in you. That you are able, abundantly able to do more than we can ask. Father, Lord. In the name of Jesus, in you. Father, Lord, of you, Lord. my life in my life, Lord. Let your church for my life in my life in the name of Jesus. Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we we'll pray. Amen. Amen. Hebrews 11 verse 11 says, through faith also Sarah herself received strength to conceive the seed. That is the promise of God concerning her life. Even when she's even at old age, the promise of God, it came to pass. We are going to pray, Lord Jehovah God. Father, we don't want to know how long it has been delayed. My Lord and my God, we decree tonight, oh Lord Jehovah God, every of your promises concerning our lives, concerning our homes, concerning your church, Lord Jehovah God, we pray, Lord, bring it to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, bring it to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let your word Amen. Faith encourages us to trust God the more, not man. We are going to pray and hand over CHMI to God. We are going to pray and ask the Lord, Father, Lord Jehovah God, we hand over your church to you, Lord. Father, Amen. may you restore, because we have faith in you. Father, may you restore CHMI, may you restore our marriages, restore, may you restore, restore our home in the mighty name of Jesus. Restore, Father, restore. Restore. Thank you, in the mighty name of Jesus. God of restoration, restore, 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 Baba, restore, Baba, your children, good my Father, restore CHMI, restore the virtuous women of God in the mighty name of Jesus, restore our oh, marriage is restored, oh, Baba. Restore the life of our children, oh God, my Father. Restore the destiny of our children. Restore, oh, Baba, the unfit, oh God, my Father. Restore, restore, oh, pray, Father, that the enemy is fully no good, my Father, in our lives. Father, restore, oh God, of restoration, Father, restore. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, restore. Restore, restore, oh God, my Father, restore. Restore, oh God, restore, oh God, my Father, restore. 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 Oh God, that the kingdom of darkness is fallen, Father, restore. In the mighty name of Jesus, as Father, restore my prayer life, Lord Jesus, restore, oh God, my Father, my spiritual eyes, restore my spiritual ears, oh God, restore my dreams, Lord Jesus, restore, 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 oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, restore, oh God, my Father, the gift, Amen. 
Amen. Finally, we are going to pray. The Bible says, Enoch walked with God through faith. Through faith. How do we how do we allow that faith to build in us? We allow faith to come into our life through the word of God. When we study the word of God, we are building our faith. We are going to ask, Lord, Father, help me, Lord, to build my faith. Father, build our faith, Lord. Build our faith, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, build my faith in you, Lord. Father, help me, Lord. Help me, Lord Jesus. Father, build my faith, Lord. Father, build my faith, Lord. I want to know you, Lord. I want to stand with you, Lord. Father, build my faith, Lord. I want to know you, Lord. I want to stand with you, Lord. Father, build my faith, Lord. I want to know you, Lord. I want to stand with you, Lord. Father, build my faith, Lord. I want to know you, Lord. I want to stand with you, Lord. Father, build my faith, Lord. I want to know you, Lord. I want to stand with you, Lord. Father, build my faith, Lord. I want to know to pray for the Keta family. We are going to pray. As they have speak the word to us tonight, let us pray for them. Open your mouth and begin to pray for them. My Lord and my God, we pray, oh Lord Jesus. Everything we have lost lies open. My Father, bless them, bless them. In the mighty name of Jesus, as Father Baba, we pray for salvation, everything that they did for my father from their life in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray over oh my father more great most of the God in the mighty name of Jesus, strengthen them, strengthen them. In the mighty name of Jesus, empower them. Oh God, my father, because they came to God, my father, with your power, with your fire, with your name of Jesus. We pray over oh my father, pressure and mercy upon them. In the mighty name of Jesus, we surround them, Lord, my father, to each of us. In the mighty name of Jesus, protect them, protect them, oh 